Hey guys, it's Deconic, and we're here with what will probably end up being the last update video for the Wretched Defiler Spectres. I will also be covering very briefly how I crafted my plus one Spectre chess piece, so you can also make yours with, within a reasonable budget. There's a few reasons for this being the last update. The first of which is I currently have a passion project of a build that I want to start working on, which I will give more details about maybe in a later video if it does not end up being a whole mess in and of itself. But if you really want to know what it is before that time, if I do make it, feel free to stop by the stream where I will be tweaking and actually trying to level up the character and whatnot. The second reason is while I might still invest a fair bit into this character, the differences will not be as noticeable as the updates we've had so far and the average player will probably not spend past around this budget on a build. But that said, if you guys would like to see more update videos, do let me know in the comments below and you know upvote other comments that say that say the same thing. And if enough of you are interested, I will be happy to make another update video. If you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoy the content as it not only is a big morale boost for me to keep making videos, it helps the videos reach more people as we try to hit a thousand subs. So we are going to pretty quickly go over some of the upgrades that I've made so far. The first and most expensive upgrade being this chess piece which I crafted which boosted my ES pool by around about 1200 by itself. So we went from the 3200 we saw in the last video to about 4434. This took us from dying here and there to being very, very tanky. And literally, as you can see, we're about to level up to 96. We are very tanky. We do not die unless we're really pushing, like limit testing our survivability in the content we are running. Um, and since we have a larger ES pool as a whole, then there's more space to counter taking damage with our leech and just countering dots in general. The second most impactful upgrade we had was switching from our rare belts to a 93% darkness and throne for about 50 chaos or thereabouts. I prioritized getting ES and lightning damage on the jewels that went into the darkness and throne and also went for some extra strength as I was under the 155 strength required from losing the heavy belt I was using. This brought my total ES to about 4900 and we added a sizable amount of flat damage per defiler. I also went from having 7 defilers and 1 spectral leader to just using 9 defilers because I kind of just got tired of the spectral leader dying all over the place. Even if I accidentally convocated him into an expedition pack or fighting an essence or whatever, he would just die and I got tired of resummoning him so I just went for the extra um, Reg Defiler. That said, he is still probably more DPS, but peace of mind. And it cannot be overstated, I guess. Um, and that was even before I switched out my control destruction for a an awakened minion damage support, which would also have made the leader even squishier. So it just wasn't worth it in my opinion. Which, side note about that, by the way, the footage you see is me having a level 1 minion damage because, well, I wanted to level it up myself since I'm doing um, Betrayal and I get Tora gem cards that gives me 200 mil gem XP. So, that is obviously completely unnecessary and you should probably not be like me and just buy it outright at a level 5 and get that extra level to raise Spectre. Don't be like me, I repeat. I also dropped the Storm Conduit as, um, as, as if you recall, I was testing them out. As I found that it just missed its big shock beams a lot. And the 12 second cooldown just meant once he misses, there's no point in having it. It's literally just a DPS loss for the next 12 seconds until he can try again and it still might miss. So I just found it not worth losing the extra defiler so i went from having seven defilers to nine which was pretty pretty nice 
I switched my farming strategy to include essence is getting corrupted blood immunity on a jewel you have. Now, obviously, you still want to have ES and lightning damage, and you might, but you might have to compromise on like the levels of lightning damage you might see to get corrupted blood immunity. But what this does is, while corrupted, while you have corrupted blood, you would essentially um, counter it with leech. But the moment the thing you're fighting dies and you still have corrupted blood, you will drop like a sack of potatoes. You just kind of snap, you're done. So by making this switch, we do not, we now not, we do not have any current dots that really plague or threaten us, so to say. One more upgrade we've made since the last video is finishing up my hungry loop. I went from having no supports as I as I had in the last video to having all four supports I needed, uh, being calling strike, feeding frenzy, increased duration, and additional accuracy. Side note: the reason we take additional accuracy is we do not we do not want to care which specter we raise, but as we are not currently scaling accuracy, if we are to raise a an attack specter and we do not have additional accuracy. They are going to miss a lot of attacks and then it will take even longer to get your feeding frenzy buff so unless you want to actually um consciously pick spell specters that is why we go actual accuracy but i digress this getting my hungry loop was also a very notable increase in dps because now we have um feeding frenzy being supplied to my nine defilers and we also have calling strike taking away 10 percent of the of any bosses or any mobs held hit by the transient specters. Now, on to the topic of future upgrades that I am aiming for. The first and probably most pressing is getting my day one shield to actually give decent stats, like more, like an, a higher increased minion damage, as well as higher max ES, so we can actually push over the 5k ES range. After that, I would fix my gloves and boots suffixes so I can get proper attributes on them and then maximize the damage I get from the other jewels that provide these stats. On a side note, towards the end of, this, of my stream, I did upgrade my shield. So it is still an upgrade because all the footage you're seeing is from before I upgraded the shield. But this is that is just a side note. All right, let's see the moment of truth. 50, 70. So yeah, we did pass the 5,000 energy shield mark. Another upgrade would be fixing all the implicits from my crafted gear with high tier Eldritch implicits. Prioritizing block 80 on the chest piece and bone offering effect on the boots, which would allow us to drop our Rumi's concoction for a magic granite flask with reduced effect of curses or, or chance to avoid being stunned. We are also currently immune to bleeding, so we switch out of using steel skin to using molten shell. If you are not immune to bleeding, you still want to use steel skin. Just keep in mind. After those upgrades, I could potentially go for a minion aggressive wand for general quality of life so the defilers would um, engage before I shield charge and convocated them into a pack. That being said, this upgrade is something I will have to test as the way Defiler's AI is currently, the AI currently works is once they start attacking, they tend to stay attacking there unless like their target gets too close. So there is a possibility that the minion is aggressive wand doesn't have the effect that you would think, which is have them constantly be in front of you shooting, but instead they pick a target, they start shooting, but then they don't progress further to keep sh like engaging first, but rather they stay back and they just keep shooting from far behind. So I will test this. And if you see a note in the comments, then, you know, it wasn't good. But otherwise, this is a potential upgrade you could get. Not a big upgrade. You, If you prioritize getting minion attack speed and all your other stats, but if you can afford it and you get good a good minion is aggressive wand, go for it. So onto the crafting portion of this video, we're going to try to make it as brief but as explanatory as possible. 
going to try to break it down so you guys so nobody gets overwhelmed and so you, you can actually do this or make the decision to do this and get as much value as you can from your chest piece without breaking the bank so first things first obviously body armor we're going to go for a pure int base and how you would look for this on trade is you'd go to requirements and you put zero for maximum of strength and dex and then you put like one as a minimum intelligence requirement for intelligence that's what that's how i did it um you want as high eye level as you can get you know over 83 ideally probably want 86 um just as high eye level as you can get you want a bet you want a ideally better base like a vow regalia but those will tend to be more expensive to so pick according to your budget but i wouldn't go for something like a silk invest for example just pick a decent base a spider silk road is fine like even silken wrap is fine to be honest just pick something you are happy with so for this for the purpose of this we're going to go for a vow regalia we're going to make it um 86 20 percent quality we don't want any influence so we proceed first things first you want to check the price of um fracturing orbs the base that has the plus one specter and then compare that to getting a fractured plus one specter int base chess piece the reason being is if the if the base plus fracturing orb cost is less than a fourth of the bases with fractured already on it you will you can potentially save a lot of money by fracturing it yourself the reason you want fracture is because then it will allow us to um craft the prefixes and get more es out of our uh, out of our chess piece without um overwriting our plus one spectra so like i said you want to have it's a delve mod so let's find it over here maximum number of spectres plus one and then let's let's fracture it so like i said if it's cheaper to fracture it yourself fracture it yourself if it's cheaper to buy it buy it but you want a a, a fractured piece now it doesn't matter what else we get because we're going to spam essence of woes on it actually no the first step would be if you if this is optional but you could use a one socket perfect fossil to get this as close to level 30 as you're willing to spend the reason is as you can see the quality directly impacts the amount of es we get so this just allows you to get that extra bit of es that um that you can have next you're going to spam essence of i believe woes which give flat es and the goal here is to get percent increase es of a of a tier that you are okay with like you could go for tier three you could go for tier two and as for the tiers of the woes i would recommend minimum shriekings if you can afford um definite go for definite i went for definite but you want uh, you ideally want definite essences of woes so you spam this until you hit increase es let's see if we get tier two perfect so we're done with our prefixes already that was it prefixes are done so from here what do we do we go code res if we're on a very tight budget all we're gonna do here is we can just exalt an extra suffix and call it a day if we so choose and then craft the third suffix and call it a day if you want to try to min max your suffixes what you can do and what i did is i crafted prefixes cannot be changed so we could not remove our prefixes then i um harvest reforged fire because i needed fire res if you need um cold res you need lightning res with the chess piece you reforge that element but i went for fire so this would give you fire res and as, you, as we see we got a decent tier we are not guaranteed a decent tier but there's a decent chance that um we, we are, we're gonna get fire res there's only one outcome we do not want even if it's a low if it's a low um tier we can still craft on fire and chaos we can still f do fire and lightning whatever we can still get more fire res but the one the one outcome we do not want when we, re we reforge is we do not want it to fill up our suffixes as if we're trying to push as much um as much es as we can from the chess piece 
we are actually going to want to have intelligence crafted because that you know what intelligence does base it gives us like one percent es for every five intelligence so we we would want intelligence somewhere on the piece but i'm digressing from here you just exalt slam whatever this is literally exactly how my chess piece is in game i i hit sun and block recovery that's some wild that's some wild rng right there but yeah from here we just craft intelligence and if you did everything correctly you now have a very good es like this one is one but it's way better than mine because it's a var regalia but you get what i mean and it's level it's 30 percent quality but that's how you would craft a chess piece i hope it was as simple as um it could have been this build has been a lot of fun so far and honestly i hope you enjoy it as much as i have i will leave a pob in the description for anyone who wants to push the build further than the last updates pob had it and if you haven't already do consider liking and subscribing as it helps this channel a lot and with that being said thank you for watching